All right, y'all ready to take a look at the front, but the back's cool. It's got component sets on the radio, so you got the tweeters and the mids. This is really nice. All right, now, as you can see, I tested this earlier. You can tell that bottle of water right there fits nicely in there. You can close the door. Hey, what is that? And then close it back open, so you got plenty of space here. And you got you can put another one there. Yeah, you would think, yeah, it fits in there. It doesn't even rub, so that's kind of cool. You got a lot of cubby hole spots. Did you say cubby hole? Well, that's what they are. Yeah, like they're cubby holes. Like you're in kindergarten. Yeah. JBL sound system. Yeah, actually, yeah, let, now he brought that up. Let me show you this back here real quick. Um, pull this here, and you'll notice you have your subwoofer right here in the back. You get your JBL sub there. And you grab here, open this up. You got all the storage under there. So you got good storage, and you got your speakers. There you go. So it's got plenty of good music. Let's go ahead and hop in, take a look around. Now, one thing you'll notice when you get into the front here is how nice these seats are. But also, this area here looks really good. I'm loving the wood trim. It's not super shiny. It's got that, it looks like real wood, and that's what I'm liking about it. All right, let's go ahead and hop in. The 1794 edition does look really nice. Kind of, you know... Kind of like, to me, the 1794 edition is giving us that feel of like the King Ranch version of a Ford F-150. If everybody's familiar with the King Ranch, this is kind of like Toyota's version of a King Ranch in a sense. You got the wood trim, you got the little bit different color on the seating. It's just a little bit classier, nicer, and it has that rugged kind of cowboyish look, if you know what I'm going for. Anyways, I'm liking the stitching. This is nice, it opens up, got storage in there. This, you can just kind of do like that. If you need to put something in here quickly, you can also open this area and look how deep it is. And you got two USBs, spot to throw your change at. So that's nice. You do have your four wheel drive controls right here. Drive modes and tow haul there. Open that up for cup holders or bottle holders. A charging station for your phone and just sit it right there and let it charge right up you get your electronic park brake all this all that more heated and cooled seats which i like the big screen the usb and then of course put it in reverse there's your backup camera we can see the guys standing over there you got the guidelines the 360 view and if that wasn't enough you can just do like that there's a front view there's the beamer there's the beamer front view side view off those mirrors there rear view off the rear tailgate I'm guessing mirrors looking that way and oh one of my favorites yep there it is that's great that's a good view there I'm liking that let's say you got some you know some tools in here maybe some uh, you know debris or leaves or a dog whatever you can see right back in there maybe the kids are riding back there after trick-or-treating who knows that's cool though i'm liking it so a lot of cool views we can see the, the guys out there shaking hands saying thank you for the business good stuff i'm liking it so all kinds of goodies inside this tundra the air is good i'm loving the stitching still got a little spot to store things out up there with a 12 volt because why do you put they think they put that 12 volt right there folks I'll tell you why, because a lot of people might have a dash cam, a radar detector, or some type of device stuck to the front windshield. So it gives you a spot to keep it charged at. The rear view mirror's got all your home link and things like that. Sunglass holders, lights, sunroof controls, all that. Like Chris showed you earlier, glove box with books and manuals. This truck is definitely fully loaded out. If this is something you're interested in, please give us a call at SMC. We're here to help you. Brake gain, start, stop, engine button. On the steering wheel, I know we didn't really cover a whole lot of stuff here, but it's very clean. All the buttons are legible. This car's got just, this truck has just got around 9,000 miles. It's practically brand new. All the upgraded adaptive cruise controls and everything you need for that. And then you got a LCD screen right through here. So you got your big screen there and one over there. So this truck's got it going on. A lot of options, a lot of upgrades, definitely big time this is big time right here folks if you're in the market and want to buy yourself 
a new Tundra, but maybe you want to get one pre-owned to save a few bucks compared to buying one new, this would be what you want to look at. Okay, think about that for a minute, folks. Heated steering wheel, all the light controls, all that stuff. This thing is definitely got it going on. But yeah, if you want to save a little money versus buying it brand spanking new, you know, 2024 models are out right now, but you could buy this 2023 model fully loaded out like this for a good bit less than what you could buy one like that for 2024. And it only has around 9,000 miles, so not a high mile, just practically brand new. There you go. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Like, comment, subscribe, follow. If you need more information about the truck, visit our website. Click on the window sticker. It will give you all the options. The original price, over 70000 This thing is fully loaded out. It's ready to go. Thanks again. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you on the next review from Southern Motor Company.